Hello, grade 9 learners! So, I am Teacher V and welcome back here on my channel. Ang lesson natin for today is about the theorems on rectangle. Nasa quarter 3, week 3 na tayo. So, I hope na natapos nyo na yung mga learning tasks niyo para sa week 2 and week 1 para makafocus na kayo ngayon sa lesson natin for this week. Actually, tatlo to. Uh, theorems on rectangle square and rhombus. Pero syempre, isa-isa yun lang muna natin para hindi naman kayo mabigla sa mga topics natin for this week. Ang ating objectives is you're going to know the definition of rectangle and apply the theorems on rectangle in solving problems. Okay. So, simulan na natin sa definition ng ating rectangle. So, when we say rectangle, it is a parallelogram with four right angles. May makikita kayong parang maliligit na box sa mga sulok. Ibig sabihin yan, may, pag meron kayong nakitang ganyan na box, that is 90 degree or right angles. So dito may apat na boxes dito sa sulok. Ibig sabihin yan, yung apat na angles ng ating rectangle is 90 degrees or right angles. Okay? Now, what are the different theorems related to rectangle? First, a theorem natin is if a parallelogram has a right angle, then it has four right angles and the parallelogram is a rectangle. So, kung meron siyang right angle and of course, yung right angles natin ay apat, sure tayo doon na ang ating parallelogram ay Rectangle. So let's see. Rectangle FACE is a parallelogram with angle F is a right angle. How about another theorem? So meron din tayo ni sa theorem, the diagonals of a rectangle are congruent. Okay, remember this? Diagonals ng ating rectangle ay congruent. Okay, so rectangle MASK is a rectangle with diagonals MS or segment FS and segment KA. So let's take a look. So this is our rectangle and the diagonals are MS or segment FS and segment KA. By theorem number 2, they are congruent or when we say congruent they are equal so if ang ating uh, ms is 10 ang ating ka is also 10 so congruent sila sa rectangle now let's have our example so consider rectangle hope or h o p e so this is our rectangle and may mga questions related to this rectangle so sagutan lang natin so if HE is equal to 7 centimeters. What is the length of OP? So, HE is 7 centimeters. And 7, itong sukat niya. What is the length of OP? Okay, so tandaan ito ay rectangle. So, o yung side, yung mga parallel sides nito ay congruent. ba? So, kung ito ay 7, obviously, yung OP is also 7. So, the answer in letter A is 7, and don't forget the unit of measure. So, that is centimeter. That's why the answer is 7 centimeters. Letter B, if segment HP is equal to 12 centimeters, what is the length of segment OE? Okay, let's see. So, HP, yung diagonal natin, HP is 12. So, this is 12. What is the length of OE? So, uh, this is theorem number 2. The diagonals of a rectangle are congruent. So, ibig sabihin, kung ito ay 12, ang OE natin is also 12. Okay, so the answer here is 12 centimeters. Let us see, if segment OP is equal to 5 centimeters and segment EP is equal to 12 centimeters, what is the measure of segment EO? Okay, i-analyze natin yung problem. Yung OP is 5 centimeters, and then yung EP is 12 centimeters. 
So, what is the measure of segment PO? So, ito yung hinahanap na sukat natin. Paano natin malalaman yan? Okay? Eh, wala naman ng ibang given. Hindi naman given ang HP. So, para makuha natin yan, meron lang tayong i-apply na previous knowledge or previous topic natin dito sa lesson natin about rectangles. Ito yung tinatawag nating Pythagorean Theorem. Kasi ito ay right triangle. So, you can see that this is a right triangle. So, pwede natin gamitin yung Pythagorean Theorem na C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Ito yung formula niya. Okay. So, isubstitute lang natin. Yung C kasi, yung pinatawag natin hypotenuse o yung longest side. So, sa case natin, o sa triangle natin dito, yung OE or EO, yun yung C. Ito yung C. Kasi siya yung longest side. Now, yung A natin dito is yung EP. So, ito yung A natin, EP. And then, yung ating P ay yung OP. So, ito yun, yung side na to, OP. So, i-square lang natin yung side ng EP. Tapos, i-add natin sa square ng OP. Kasi, yun yung ating formula. Square mo yung A and square mo yung B. Tapos, i-add mo sila. So, yun yung uh, magiging formula na gagamitin natin para masagot ang letter C. So, ito na siya. So, EO squared is equal to segment EP squared plus OP squared. So, ano yung ating EP? So, that is 12. So, that is why we have 12 then squared plus yung OP which is 5 squared. Now, the question here is why is it there is a square root? Bakit nagkaroon bigla ng square root? <laughs> okay. Kasi itong E O natin is squared. So, kailangan matanggal natin ang squared. Kailangan EO lang ang maiwan. So, that is why we have to square root both sides. So, pag square root na natin itong EO, in square root natin, makakancel na yung 2 and pati yung square root. So, matitira na lang is yung EO. Pero, itong other side, nandun pa rin ang square root. Okay. Alright, now that's solved. So, 12 squared is 144, then 5 squared is 25. So, i-add lang natin. So, that is equivalent to 169. Now, what is the square root of 169? Alam na natin to, ang square root niya is 13. So, therefore, EO, or itong diagonal natin na to, yung longest side, itong right triangle natin, is equivalent to 13 centimeters. So, centimeter kasi centimeter yung unit of measure natin. Okay? Madali lang, di ba? Kailangan lang talaga, meron kang babalikan na lesson para masagutan mo yung ating problem dito. Okay. Now, yan. So, 13 yung answer natin. Okay. Next, if angle 4 measures 40 degrees, what is the measure of angle 3? Sa saan ba yung angle 4? Ito yung angle 4. So, ito lang siya ha, angle 4. So, kung angle 4 daw ay 40, ano ang angle 3? So, ito naman yung angle 3. So, ano kaya sukat nito? Okay, ang clue natin, di ba? Sa theorem number 1, ang ating rectangle ay merong 4 right angles. So, ibig sabihin, kung right angles, ito ay 90. Yung sulok na to, kapu, ang sukat niya is 90. So, kailangan pag pinag-add mo ang 3, angle 3 and angle 4, dapat equivalent sa 90 degrees. Kasi right angle or pa-L siya o oh, pa-L. So, para makuha natin yung sukat ng 3, i-minus lang natin yung 40 sa 90. Okay? So, 90 minus 40, so that is 50. Pag in natin yan, magiging 90 degrees na to, yung angle na to. Which is, yun naman talaga dapat. Kasi ito ay rectangle. Therefore, the answer in letter D is 50 degrees. Next, if angle 2 measures 35 degrees, what is the measure of angle 5? Nasaan ang angle 2? Ito yung angle 2 natin. So, that 
that is 35, itong angle lang na to, is 35, ang hinahanap is yung angle 5. Ano naman kaya itong angle 5? Okay, ano kaya sa palagay niya yung answer? Okay, the answer is 35. Bakit po naging 35, ma'am? Okay, so meron tayong theorem about vertical angles. Okay, ang theorem natin doon is, ito, vertical angles are congruent. So kung ito ay 35, the angle 5 is also 35. Okay? Alright. Yan. So the answer is 35 degrees. Next, another example. Paano kung may mga x, x na nagiven? Ayan na naman. Nagbabalik na naman si x. Akala nyo wala nang mga x, no? Kasi geometry na. Well, nandito pa rin siya. Hindi <laughs> tayo iniiwan ni x. So, proceed na tayo. In a rectangle, QRST, QS is 5x minus 31. And segment RT is 2x plus 11. Ang question, find the length of the diagonals of rectangle QRST. So, ito yung ating rectangle. Yung ating daw QS is 5x minus 31. So, ito. And yung ating RT is 2x plus 11. So, ano ngayon ang sukat ng diagonals? Eh, may mga x tayong given. Okay. So, remember, QS is congruent to RT. Why? Because of the theorem number 2 that the diagonals of a rectangle are congruent. So, we can now say that they are equal or congruent. So, isulat natin siya into an equation. Yung QS... Sinabstitute lang natin yung 5x minus 31 yung QS. Ito yun. Tapos, in-equal natin siya sa RT. Yung na 2x plus 11. Kasi nga, congruent naman sila, di ba? Based sa theorem number 2 about rectangle. Okay. Now, i-apply natin yung uh, ginagawa natin pag nagsusolve tayo ng equation. Okay? So, we will subtract Itong negative 2x or i-isolate na lang natin itong 2x. Sama natin siya dito sa so may x din. At kapag lumipat siya, magiging negative. So that is why we have negative 2x. So subtract 2x and then add 31 dito sa other side. Or itong 31, i-move natin sa kabilang side. At magiging positive na siya, positive 31. Okay, so pinagsama natin yung may mga variable, pinagsama din yung may mga numbers lang. Okay, then simplify na. So, 5x minus 2x is equal to 3x is equal to 11 plus 31 is 42. Next is we're going to divide both sides by 3 para makancel or maiwan na lang ang x. Okay, so 3 divided by 3 is 1 na lang. So, x na lang. Then, 42 divided by 3 is 14. So, that is why our x is 14. Tapos na ba yung problem natin? Nasagot na ba yung sukat ng diagonals natin? Okay, hindi pa. Kasi x pa lang ang nakukuha natin. Kailangan makuha natin yung sukat ng diagonals. So, anong susunod na gagawin natin? So, right after na makuha na natin ang x, pwede na natin i-substitute yung value ng x sa QS or pwede rin sa RT. Since equal naman sila, kung anong sukat nito, yun na rin naman dito, so pili na lang kayo kahit isa. Again, ang x natin na na-compute ay 14. So, 5x minus 31, palitan natin yung x ng 14. Bakit 14? Kasi yun yung nakuha natin kanina na value ng x. So, 5 times 14, that is equal to 70. 70 minus 31, that is equal to 39. So, therefore, the value of segment QS is 39. Kailangan pa ba natin i-compute yung RT? Okay, pwede naman hindi na. Kasi nga, tandaan kung ano ang sukat ng QS, ayun na rin ang sukat ng RT. Pero ipakita ko na rin sa inyo para makita ninyo na equal talaga sila. Okay, so 2x plus 11, yun yung RT natin. Palitan lang natin yung x ng 14. So 2 times 14, so that is equal to 28 plus 11. 28 plus 11, that is equal to 39. So you see, 
equal or congruent lang yung sukat nilang dalawa. So therefore, each diagonal has a length of 39 units. So ito na yung ating answer. So nakita ninyo na i-apply natin yung mga theorems para ma-solve natin yung mga problems natin. Pero, kailangan din minsan na gamitin natin yung mga previous knowledge natin or natutunan natin sa math. So, babalik ka pa rin talaga sa mga nakaraang lesson. Okay? Alright. So, again, ano yung dalawang theorems natin sa rectangle? Naalala nyo? Okay. Number one is, if a parallelogram has a right angle, then it has four right angles, and the parallelogram is a rectangle. Now, theorem number two, the diagonals of a rectangle are congruent. Okay. Sa susunod naman, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung theorems about rhombus. So, kita-kita tayo ulit sa susunod kong video. At bago ako magtapos sa video na to, paalala ko lang, huwag kalimutang i-click ang subscribe button para maging updated ka sa mga videos na gagawin at i-upload ni Teacher B. Pwede mo rin gamitin ang comment section kung may mga questions ka pa at gusto pang malaman about mathematics. So, salamat sa time mo at huwag tayong susuko sa mathematics. Mahalin lang natin ang math at i-enjoy ito. Okay? So, you can also follow me on my Facebook page, VTeach channel. And like and share. Goodbye!